Hey everyone, welcome to another English grammar lesson. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to properly format titles. So when it comes to titles, here are the rules. For most longer works, you will use italics. However, when you are writing these titles by hand, you wanna underline them. And that's because it's pretty awkward to try to italicize your handwriting. So once again, if you're typing a longer title, italicize it. If you're handwriting a longer title, underline it. So what are some examples of longer titles? What do I mean by that exactly? Well, could be novels, books, plays, magazine or journal titles, movies, TV shows, albums, works of art, ships, lots of stuff. Now when it comes to shorter works, you will want to use quotation marks in both typing and handwriting. Shorter works would include things like short stories, poems, articles, songs, TV episodes, stuff like that. And again, these would be put in quotation marks regardless of whether you're typing or handwriting them. Okay, so what about capitalization? What specific words should be capitalized in a title? Well, the short answer is the important ones. But generally speaking, you do not capitalize articles, which are a, an, and the, short prepositions, which include words like at, of, on, in, or by, as well as coordinating conjunctions, like your fanboys, for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. The only exception to this rule would be if these words start your title. Like if the was the first word of your title, you would capitalize it. Otherwise, you typically wouldn't. Okay, so let's try a few. How would I properly format the following TV series title, Finding Julie? Okay, so I said it was a TV show, like an actual series, a longer work. So we gotta be thinking about italics here. But since I'm handwriting it, I'm gonna wanna underline it. Then we'd wanna think about what important words we need to capitalize and leave out our smaller prepositions or articles or fanboys, which I actually don't see in this title. So, here we go. All right, how about this poem title? The title of a single, individual poem. Stay here and listen. Okay, so for starters, it's a poem, it's a shorter work, so we gotta be thinking about quotation marks. Then we look at our capitalization, and we find the word and in there. And we know that that's a word that we should typically leave lowercase. So, we capitalize the rest, and it looks like this couple more. How about this book title, The Sand and the Shore of Northland? Okay, so for starters, this is a book, a longer work, so we'd want to use italics if we were typing it. However, I'm going to be handwriting it in this situation, so I'm going to think about underlining. Now let's look at our capitalization. Well, we've got a ton of minor words here, words that should not be capitalized typically. So go ahead and take a second and see if you can point out each of those words. Should have said, the, on, the, and of. Now the question is, how many of you remembered what we said earlier about minor words that start a title? Because if the first word of your title is a minor word, you still want to capitalize it. So, all the other ones would be lowercase, but because the word the starts the title, it needs to be capitalized. So the whole title, completed and correct, would look like this. Okay, last one. How would you format the title of this short story? The things we say when no one else is around. Okay, so for starters, I said this was a short story, a shorter work, so we're gonna wanna use quotation marks. And now for the capitalization. Well, just like last time, I have a minor word to start the title. So that minor word is gonna to need to be capitalized. But the rest of the minor words don't. Question is though, what are those words? Give yourself a point if you said is. Yep, just is. Now, yes, there are some other short words in this title, but they're not minor words, so we still need to capitalize them. So altogether, your revised title looks like this. Cool, well, whether you came here for a refresher or are just now learning this stuff for the first time, I hope this video helped. Be sure to check out the free practice down in the description, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.